Before we get the video started, I just want to say, um, in this first clip, I say there's three hunts on this video. Well, there's not. This is all just one one day's hunt. I was going to add this to the end of my last video, but I, I found so much that I was able to make one, uh, a video just with what I found this one day. And I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Resurrecting Relics, my buddy Tim and his wife Amanda. They just sent me this nice little bifurcated point from Tennessee. Appreciate it, bub. Pretty sweet. For my out-of-state collection. If you guys don't know who Resurrecting Relics is, I'm sure you do, because uh, most of the comments I see on their videos are from people that are subbed to me. So, But uh, you know, if you don't know who they are, give their channel a, uh, check their channel out. It's Resurrecting Relics. They're in uh, eastern Tennessee, and he hunts like a madman, man. Every day he's uploading, if not you know, every other day. If the weather's permitting, he's out there hunting. He's killing it, man. He's found some good stuff here lately, so you guys can check out his channel. Give him a sub and tell him I sent you. All right, here's the video. What's going on, folks? It's kind of windy today, so I hope you can hear me. Um, just got to the field. I'm not even going to where, walk to where I was wanting to go yet, and I stumbled across this. It looks all there. Oh yeah. Don't have my squirt bottle again today. But I'm gonna do a clean up at the end of this. This will be the third there are three hunts on this video. I already did two, did pretty good. Alright, nice little side notch. I don't know if that's like a uh, Godar or uh can't remember the other one. It's almost like that we find around here. All right, pretty nice. Let's see if I can find something else. I just shut the camera off. I took ten steps. I seen this little piece of flint here, just a tiny bit of it showed, and I flipped it. It was right here. And it's another whole point, man. I am on fire. I believe this is a. Looks like a doll. Yeah, nah, I'm not sure. It's all there though. Let's get it cleaned up a little better. And while I was sitting there looking at this, I seen this, which might be another point. It looks like maybe the base of something. It could just be a flake too. Uh. Hard to say. Might be the base to like a preform or a crude blade, but it's, you know, it's nothing worth taking home. But man, that is. That's sweet. That's two whole points in like less than five minutes. They just plowed this field last week, and it right after the day after they plowed it, it rained for like the next three days. I mean, it's solid. So, I mean, this ground is flattened. So, I'm hoping to do really good here today. I'm going to stay probably all day. Got something here, might not be nothing. It looks uh, like it's been worked. There ain't much of it shown. Yeah, it's a broke, broke base. Hope it's some kind of rounded off point. Booter. It's only been about, tw uh, probably about 20 minutes. I've seen this. And it is looking good. Come on, baby. Oh, yes. Three nice freaking points. Man. This is just, this is an unbelievable day for me. I must have hit this field just right. There's no tracks here. Nobody else has been here. And every thing that I thought was a point so far has been whole. I, just, I can't believe it. There's something there. Flake. Alright, I'm going to get off here see if I can find something else, man. I think I got a broken drill here. 
If it is, this will be the fourth drill I found in a couple days. Yep, this drill broke. I've, you know, I find a couple drills a year, but I found three the other day, and then this one makes four. I'm on a roll. It's been about a half hour. I just now seen this little thing here. It's looking good. Hey, hey. Finally got a broken. Another one out. Looks like it's all there. It's a little rough. Man, I wish I brought my script bottle. Yeah, I'll show it better when I get home and do a cleanup. It's not a bad point though. Let's find another one. Well, that spot dried up. It's been about an uh, hour and a half since I found anything. I moved, uh, moved to, to another part of the field. Just kicked this out with my pooter poker. Stem point, it's all beat up. I got two pockets full of brokes and flint and uh, preforms and all kinds of stuff. I'll show you during the cleanup. Uh, I just ain't been filming it because there's just so much of it, but I got some pretty neat broke stuff. All right, hopefully find a hole and I'm about to get out of here. I'm gonna give it about another hour. Just found this little tiny bird point here. Pretty small, about the size of my thumb. Doug, I don't have a dime, sorry. I'll take it. I got another one. It looks pretty good. It's so like uh, gray and purple. Let's hope it's all there. Feels good. I think the base is gone. Yeah, some of the base is gone. Man, it's got a needle tip on it. Or maybe it's made that way, I don't know. Can't, the sun's so bright I can't really see it in the camera. Hmm. I don't know. It's pretty sweet though. I mean, I'm killing it today. I can't believe I found this many whole points. This, I mean, this never happens. Not this many. I mean, an average hunt, I'll find six or eight points but you know maybe one or two of them is in decent shape but i'm killing it today for some reason i have to pay my dues here's what all i found pretty decent hunt and one of the you know the best one i've had this year um the thing i'm most excited about is this uh this is a dalton uh, green briar my buddy dave o diggs in florida helped me identify it and then I sent some um, photos of everything I found to uh, Pat Mooney at the Indiana Archaeological Society. And he helped me identify it too. And he said, this is a Dalton Greenbrier, which is really rare to be found this far north. It's pretty much like a Dalton. There was a chip missing here. But the Dalton Greenbriers have more of a lobed, uh, lobed ears here. So that's a 
And it was pretty exhausted, but I'm I'm proud of it. Good point. Here's the Kirk point I found. Indiana green. It's in really good shape. I've said most of the points I found today or on this hunt were uh, pretty decent. This is a. Um, I'm in northern Indiana. A little bit south of me, this would be a Godar, but this is a, a what they call Radats. Pretty much the same point, just a different name. Pretty decent side notch. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. I forgot. I should have looked at the email before I did the video. Take a little Palmer, maybe. I'm not sure. Here's the. Uh, broken drill I found. Four drills in one week. Only one of them whole though. I believe he told me this was a um, a Stuben. The last two were Stuben and uh, Newberger. I think this is, a, is the Stuben. I might have these two mixed up. This one and this one. I might have these points reversed. I'm not sure. A Stuben and a new burger. But yeah, it was uh, one of the best hunts I've had so far this year. It's, just, it's raining right now, so I'm doing this cleanup inside. Uh, Brokes, nothing special, just a bunch of heartbreakers. There's a decent side notch there. Or a corner notch, I mean. Um, broke blade. Uh, here's the two brokes I found. That's a really weird material. I'm not sure what that is. And another uh, base. Um, Preform. You know, just your average broke stuff. Nothing really to talk about. Uh, Alright, that's all I got. Bye.